Well, judges have given her so many chances, she's become a joke of the legal system. But taxpayers aren't laughing. That's because Landis Litz's antics are costing a lot of money. As Kim Holland explains, even though this criminal is finally run out of chances, taxpayers will continue to foot her bill. That is tonight's special assignment. All right. It's hard to keep track of how often Landis Litz has been in this position over the years. Okay, uh, City of Mexico versus Landis Litz. Early last month, we highlighted Litz's dozens of hearings in front of scores of judges. Most recently, police say Litz was drunk in April when she ran a stop sign and almost T-boned an officer's car. Litz was first arrested when she was 13. That was for shoplifting. Since then, she's racked up dozens of charges in her short life. As an adult, the 25-year-old has been arrested for crimes like aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, DWI, and stealing a car. But though she's repeatedly violated her probation, judges continue to put her back on probation. She has thumped her nose at this court's authority and leniency and trust in this case. Litz cut off her ankle monitor, didn't check in with probation officers, didn't pay restitution, and refused to go to treatment for her self-admitted alcohol problem. Tuesday, she was in court facing her fourth probation violation. If you're under the influence of alcohol, you are a danger to the community. Her lawyer asked District Court Judge Mark Macaroon for the minimum time behind bars. Her supportive family told the judge they were ready to send her to a treatment facility. But the judge had a different idea. I really feel that the court has no alternative but to impose Department of Correction time. Judge uh, Macaron hit her with the maximum time he could impose one year in prison, plus some extra time for escaping from her ankle bracelet. Oh, that's terrible. No father wants to see their daughter being sent to prison. But uh, hopefully it's a wake up call for her and uh, maybe the taxpayer will get a break. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. In fact, the district attorney's office says Landis Litz has served more time in jail waiting to go to court than judges would have probably sentenced her to.